Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm super excited for today's reading vlog because I finally get to read two super, super popular TikTok books that everybody has probably read by now, but I am just getting to them because I was moving from Texas to Maryland and I was just super stressed. A lot of things went south and I wanted to enjoy these books, so I put them off. Uh, but they are Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross and Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, so these are both romantic books and from I tr purposely try not to watch much content on these because I wanted to form my own opinion. But from what I hear, this is more romance leaning and this is more fantasy leaning. Um, but they're both supposed to be romantic so I'll, we'll see. I do believe that I will probably like this one less than this one because of that because i am a fantasy reader so i think we'll go ahead and start with this one and then head to this one so divine rivals by rebecca ross uh if you haven't read it which i'm sure uh, many 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 of you have is about our main characters iris and roman um they are workplace rivals they work at like a what is it called I don't, I don't know like a newspaper company I guess um, and they're in this world there is a war that the humans are fighting on behalf of the gods so it is a god's war that the humans are having to fight um, and her brother is off at the war fighting and she has a magical typewriter and starts writing letters to her brother and sending them off magically um, I don't know how magically but magically and um, it turns out her brother is not getting the letters it is this guy her workplace uh, rival and he knows that she's sending the letters but she doesn't know that he's getting them so that is the like premise of this so I'm more excited about the war of the gods than the romance element um, although I'm sure the romance will be nice. <laughs> and then we have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This is about our main character, Violet. She has trained all her life to be a scribe or like a scholar. Um, but she comes from a long line of dragon writers, which are like, I guess, soldiers-ish. Um, and she's kind of forced into going to this war college to train to be a dragon writer. But she's like small and puny and doesn't want to do it. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about it. There's obviously dragons, hopefully, because they're all <laughs> over the book. Um, and yeah, we're I guess we're gonna see her navigate the school, and you know, that's really it. So let's get started on these. Like I said, I'm gonna start with Divine Rivals. hello so a bit of an update on divine rivals i did take off the dust jacket because i don't want to damage it too much and i was noticing that when i was reading it i was bending it a little bit so i took it off but i wanted to give you an update on what i've read so far because the sun's already going down it's like literally almost gone and i've only read 33 pages so i'm on chapter three not much at all but 
Um, so far, not much has happened. We find out a little bit about her life, her brother, her mom, um, what she's currently going through. We see her start to write the letters and we see her realize that she's not actually sending them to her brother like she thought and they're actually going to somebody else, but she doesn't know who it is. Um, she's already met up with Roman and Roman has kind of asked her questions about just questions that she's like mm, why is he asking me that like it's weird right uh but yeah not much has happened yet so i'm not really reeled in yet not really sucked into the book yet but of course it's literally 33 pages in so it just started um like i said i'll definitely give you an update tomorrow probably because i don't think i'll give you another update tonight but I'm going to take a break from that because I do need to do some editing and I also want to do my nails. I think I'm just going to do, I have my base coat, which is SE Grow Stronger base coat. And it's actually a very light milky pink. So maybe if I put two coats of the base coat um, and then I got this, which is just like a pearly translucent powder that you can put over and it kind of gives you just like that pearly effect kind of like those babe uh hailey bieber nails it's supposed to do that i did put it on this and it does kind of do that i won't show you this because they're already gross but i'll show you when i do them and then i'll just put a top coat and we'll see how that turns out for now that's fine so i did my nails and i love it to be honest like I think this is it for me like I think I have found how I'm gonna do my nails from now on because I really like it and I was like really sloppy with the actual dust um oh it's not even close dude I almost totally spilled that um I was super sloppy with it but like on the skin I washed my hands very lightly um just because I don't want to you know disrupt the polish but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make dinner and then I'm going to go finish, well, finish that optimistic. <laughs> I'm going to go read more of Divine Rivals and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, I'm back to my usual corner, which means it's time for a reading check-in. <laughs> so I just ate, as you saw, I ate a salad because that's what I wanted. I didn't really want to cook anything, so that's what I made. Um, and I have a little update for you. I am almost halfway now in this book. I'm on page, what is this? 142. Two. I'm on page 142 and uh, don't hate me <laughs> but I feel like nothing has happened I I feel like something should have happened already I am on page 142 is something wrong with me I I want to love this because everybody loves it and uh, you know I want to be like everybody but so far i'm not loving it i'm not hating it it's okay it's good um it's just i feel like nothing has happened so up to this point iris has left her hometown she is in the new location she's taken her new occupation um and yeah she just discovered that she can in fact still send roman letters so she has just done that and the last thing i read is her asking roman to like um mail the letters to all the soldiers families i'm trying to not be spoilery but i also want to talk about it it's so hard 
Uh, but yeah, and he's like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And that's the last thing I read. So I feel like nothing has happened. Like, I haven't seen a lot of <laughs> romance. I haven't seen a lot of fantasy. So I'm waiting for the romanticy to romantis, if you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, I feel like nothing has happened yet. And uh, I, by this point, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to, like, am I, I'm sounding negative, aren't I? I don't want to be negative because I want to love this book as much as everybody else. It's just, like I said, I'm on page 142 and I feel like, I mean, there was that critical, crucial event in her life that happened and was devastating to her. I am a little cold hearted. I'm not going to lie. It does take a lot for me to feel for others in general uh but especially for fictional characters i know that sounds so bad but it's just the truth um and so you know it was sad and i did feel for her and actually that was probably my favorite scene because it made me feel something and something happened uh so so far that's kind of been my favorite part of the book up to this point because like i said i mean she was at her job this devastating thing happened to her. She is now at a new job. The romance is, you know, it's it's not there yet. It's they're talking to each other and that's basically it. Although she still doesn't know who she's talking to. So, um, yeah, but, you know, when she talks about him, she does, you know, give us the impression that she has feelings for him nothing too serious yet just she catches herself thinking about him and you know the huge he obviously is into her but yeah i'm not gonna give up on the book obviously because i feel like some i need i need fantasy i need something to happen i need gods to come into the book i need some sort of like i also like high stakes fantasy so that could be it if this is those stakes it's fine but some like I need something to happen for me to like this book. So hopefully that happens. But yeah, that's my update for now. I will read a little bit more today and tonight. I think we're going to barbecue because um, we usually barbecue once a week. Usually, uh, sometimes we don't, but usually we do once a week. And um, after that, I want to watch Red, White and Royal Blue. Because I read the book and I read it because I wanted to watch the movie and I never saw the movie. So tonight I think that's what we're going to do. Well, what myself and Butters will do. Because uh, Buddy won't watch it with us. So yeah. So the mashed potatoes are ready, the carrots and onions are ready, and now it's time to go and grill some ribs. It's done. Now we get to go eat. Yum.
Hey, I'm back with a reading update. I finished Divine Rivals um, and I am unsure <laughs> what to rate this. I am thinking between a 3.5 to 4 stars, but I'm not sure what because if I just take in consideration like the second half of the book, I would rate it 4 stars. But the first half of the book for me, I just wasn't entertained. I wasn't into it. I didn't get into it until the 180th page mark because I literally made it a point to write it down. Uh, so who knows? Maybe I'll just do 3.75. I'm not sure. Head over to Goodreads to see what I finally decided on. But Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I decided that this book is not for me because I don't know I felt like I needed more fantasy and I have heard from people um, that I just follow on TikTok again I try not to um, watch a lot of content about these things because I didn't like these two books because I didn't want to have them spoiled for me or I really just wanted to form my own opinion about it because uh, even though I don't really watch a lot of the content the book talk or you or booktube content I, I mean, it is impossible not to see things about these two books because everybody was talking about these two books, right? And everybody was loving them. And for like the content that I did watch, I feel like people like this more than Fourth Wing, which makes me a little nervous. But also, I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> and much to my detriment, I think, because I, I do like romance. I do like romance i am a little new to romance but it doesn't bother me i'm not one of those people that's like oh like no i can't read romance no i like romance um but i like fantasy a lot more and i feel like there was very minimum very little like fantastical elements in this book and so that's what made it not for me because for the first 180 pages we follow our main character iris and she even though she's super young i think she's 18 she's definitely below 20. um she's had a really rough life like rough life so we get to see everything that she goes through just to maintain her household because she needs to you know nobody else is gonna do it um and it is kind of sad you know like the things that she goes through she loses her brother to the war she loses another family member and by lose I, I don't mean like everybody dies no that's not what i'm saying but like you know they're gone um and it is sad and i did feel for her but i think i i might have mentioned this before i'm not sure but i feel like if you are everything that i'm not if you're empathetic and you love a beautiful romance this is a beautifully written book i will give it that like i i love rebecca ross because beautiful beautiful books but if you're empathetic if you love to see someone's life story and feel the struggle with them and like you empathize with people um this is for you i clearly am not that girl um but yeah some things that i did love i loved her banter with roman i loved her exchange with roman in the beginning um you know in the beginning in the first half of the book like they were always just kind of throwing little digs at each other and i really loved that and then watching it morph into something different and filled with more romance and you know just yearning in general that was really beautiful i love how she kept uh guessing her na his name and she would just say like the stupidest things like roman condescending kit like i love that i love that and then when he did it for her i loved it uh i also love this scene where she realizes that she is in love with him and she admits it to herself and she realizes like i cannot live without this guy like i just can't i won't i'm not gonna leave him i will stay by his side forever and always that was beautiful to me when her brother came back into the picture as soon as he came back i was so annoyed with him i was like oh this is who we've been waiting for uh but then when he said what he said 
about his experiences i was like okay i guess it makes sense uh and really when i like really enjoyed this book was in the epilogue so after the book after the fact the epilogue we finally have a god join the chat and i think that's the main reason that i didn't love this book is because i am a fantasy girl so although there was some fantastical elements some magic in here there was like the magical typewriters right and then there was the mention of the hounds and then the winged creatures i don't remember what they're called but we were kind of more just told about those like she's like in the house and she's scared and she's like i can hear them pal i wanted to see them i wanted to see them like rip someone's leg off and maybe that says a lot about me uh but you know what i mean it just uh it was a different vibe for me that i don't regret reading and i want to read more of it uh to you know broaden my horizons but when the epilogue came and we finally have a god enter the book like he is present he is speaking and then what happens in the epilogue that was my favorite part of the book and it leads me to believe that i am going to really enjoy book two ruthless vows which i think comes out in december because of that because if we're gonna pivot to that to more of fantasy then i'm here for it like i said not a bad book and i can see how it's a great book to a certain type of reader just not to me so that being said i am sitting in front of the fire because i started fourth wing and let me tell you how many pages have i read it's not much because i just started it but i started it and like as soon as i finish this i'm gonna go read again which is something that i don't always do sometimes i take a break after i film any clip um page 45 so i'm on page 45 and i already am enjoying this so much it just started off so fast and that's what i need i need something fast in my life and there's already fantasy like we are on page 45 and i already saw a dragon like she's there and she's staring our main character down in the face and <laughs> she's scared um so i don't know i really like this there's already a lot of action a lot of angst hate like ruthlessness and i am eating that up i have seen the like the cussing and all that which is a criticism i did see some people talk about that doesn't bother me like i talk like that young people generally speak that way that doesn't bother me like it's it's not taking me out of the story i it's whatever to me it's like just me talking to you it's that's what it feels like i'm really liking this so far we've met our main character who i already love like i love her um we've met dane who is like her childhood friend and there's some like romantic stuff going on there uh we met her sister we met her mom we met her peers the good ones the bad ones we've met her what i know is going to become the actual romantic interest slash rival enemy two lovers type of deal and i like him so far he's just like that intimidating guy literally staring her down waiting to kill her literally um and i love it i'm loving this so far even though i'm only 45 pages in right now i'm gonna stop the camera and i'm gonna start reading because i don't think we're going anywhere it's raining it's been raining since like yesterday it's been raining like a lot actually this week so we haven't been anywhere and i don't think we're gonna go anywhere i wanted to go to barnes and noble but i gave up and i just ordered the book online uh which is sad but maybe i'll still go to barnes and noble at some point uh, but i don't think so because it is raining a lot we are supposed to have some like well we did have a storm come in i'm guessing there's like a hurricane or something in the coast in the ocean i never keep up with these things my husband does <laughs> And he literally told me like on sunday there's gonna be a lot of rain and there has been all day it hasn't stopped so luckily it did stop for like a second and me and butters just literally ran outside so he could go to the restroom and then we came right back in 
but anyway i'm gonna get to reading and then we'll have another update on fourth wing i'm so excited about this literally so excited to continue the story so i've read like 50 more pages i'm on page 109 and you guys this book is funny i can see i can see what people mean about the dialogue and like taking them out of the story the like slang and all that but for me it's it's hitting i'm really liking that and it is not taking me out of the story it sounds like somebody that is young how they would talk it's how i talk and i'm not even young so you know i guess if you're an intellectual and you speak super properly and colloquialism is beneath you then yeah i get it but for me i like it it's entertaining i'm having a good time and violet is funny our main character violet she's funny like she's always thinking or saying like funny things and i read this little blurb and it had me chuckling because i was like that's funny like i like it <laughs> so i thought i'd share it with you because i literally chuckled after this but right now she obviously they're they have to spar they have to train um they're doing like their classes their history classes they're like everything right and then also the physical part like i said sparring and training and all that so every week they get assigned a different partner and she's really smart she was going to be a scribe a scholar so she obviously is using tactics to help her because she is small and frail and breakable um so that fails this week <laughs> and the reason it fails is because her predetermined partner for the sparring match couldn't make it right so zayden he steps in he's like i'll do it and she's like what like because she just heard him say that he plans to kill her when he feels like it so obviously she's nervous and she's like no but the instructor's like, yeah, okay. Uh, so they're fighting, right? And we're at the end of the fight, I'm assuming, already. And uh, he has her pinned against the mat. And this is the dialogue that we're getting. So heat rushes up my neck and flame licks my cheeks as he lowers his face so his lips are only inches away from mine. I can make out every speck of gold in his onyx eyes, every bump and ridge of his scar beautiful fucking asshole my breath catches and my body warms the traitorous bitch you are not attracted to toxic men i remind myself and yet here i am getting all attracted i have been since the first second i saw him if i feel like being honest um so little like things like that that she's like telling herself or like even side remarks like i like it to me it's personable it would be something that i would think and how i would talk so take that as you will <laughs> but like i said if you yourself all are, are a scholar then go read some classics i guess but i am liking this so let's continue and when i feel i need to tell you something i will come back i'm back with another update and i'm losing daylight real fast um, I did notice in the last clip I saw the beginning and you could see the ring light on my glasses So I'm sitting like right up on the window uh, And if I do do some future check-ins, I'll figure it out so that you don't have to see it. But anyway, I Had to do another check-in. I'm on chapter 13 page 155 Which what like what were we like page 100 <laughs> on the last check-in but so much has happened in between these 50 pages um i think we are officially done with the trials like that they do on their own you know to test their physical abilities stamina endurance all that stuff right i think we're done with those and now that the dragons are here i think you know we're just gonna have the bonding and then who knows what the second half of the book's gonna be because this moves a lot faster than i thought it would and i do not mind but it did move faster than i thought like they were zooming there was parts where they're just skipping weeks she's like this week and this week and this week and this week and it's just like oh they just skipped like two months <laughs> but it's fine like it's not bothering me or anything it's just moving really fast it's kind of like the opposite of divine rivals for me 
how I'm feeling. Like, whoa, 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 slow down. I want to see a little bit more. Uh, but everything that I've seen, I've loved. Um, the gauntlet was awesome. I mean, we just see the end because, again, like, we had already seen them practice. Uh, I liked it. I like that she, I mean, it is predictable. I will say that, but it's fine. Like, it's fine. <laughs> she took Zayden's advice and she figured it out. Um, they met the dragons and stuff happened some people have exited the book um and the little gold dragon or yellow dragon whichever one it is i don't know how to feel about this dragon because it would be very obvious to like pair the little dragon the feather tail dragon with violet but do i want that i don't know i really don't know because I mean, they say that it's barely like bigger than she is and they think it's a baby and stuff, but is there some hidden powers in this dragon? I don't know. Or what is the purpose? And do we want our girl to be bonded to this little teeny tiny dragon? Uh, I feel like it would be predictable, but also like, now what, you know? uh either she's with this little dragon or she's with like the most powerful dragon that they can't believe it because i don't think she'll be with an in-between dragon because that's just how how it works usually um so she's either going to be with this teeny dragon and like pull some incredible shit or she's going to be with the most badass dragon and they're going to be like what violet she got that dragon like what you know what i mean um i don't think they'll put her in an in-betweener you know i do think that it was cool to see the greens take interest in her um but i don't think it was for any bonding purposes it was just for the story and having being able to see the interactions with the dragons um was really awesome so i like that scene a lot so i literally just left off like they just finished their first walkthrough with the dragons and now i guess it's gonna be the discussion afterwards and then i don't know i don't know how they i know we've seen mention of how they are going to be bonded and that they're gonna have an opportunity to like kill each other while they're actively trying to bond which is a lot uh but i'm excited for it because the action oh i love it so yeah that's kind of my little update i'm loving this book if it continues this way it'll be a five star for me because i'm just loving it loving it so yeah let's keep reading because i'm so excited i want to see more dragons and i want to see who's going to be bonding with who and who's not going to bond with anyone and i hope there's some surprises i hope there's some twists some this and that uh but i'll keep you updated i'm back with another update to share with you i am now on chapter 18 page 207 um so right after i talked to you a big event happened right and i think we touched on that the bonding the choosing of the riders and the dragons and the pairing that has happened and it didn't disappoint um yeah <laughs> the ones who bonded bonded the ones who didn't didn't and are probably pissed about it um I did like what went down during the bonding um, situation. Uh, everything that happened, I liked it. I liked it, can't complain. Um, I cannot wait for Zayden to be more involved now that we know what we know. Um, yeah, and right now they're pretty much just uh, where I'm at. They're, they know that they have to strengthen the bond with themselves and their dragons and they're gonna be training and doing all these things right apparently there's gonna be more trials um which i thought the trials were over i thought like the end goal was to get your dragon but i guess not i guess there's gonna be more trials or maybe i misread that but i feel like i read that there's gonna be more trials so we'll see what those are um i'm liking everyone i'm liking her friends they're so cute Brianna. And, um all of them sawyer they're so cute um i love their friendship i have gotten annoyed by dane but that was since the start i feel like 
I mean, I feel like it's no secret that I I like a bad boy. I really liked Cardin. Um, I, I am more drawn to the bad boy and Dane was not the bad boy. Um, or a bad boy in disguise. A bad boy for a different reason, I feel like. Uh, we'll see what happens with him, but mm, he is just like, he's toxic. So is Zayden. Zayden's also toxic, but Dane's toxic in like an annoying way. Like he's overbearing and he's just like clingy and he's trying to make her decisions for her and underestimating her and literally all the opposite of Zayn, like of Zayden, Zayn, of Zayden, Zayden from even before the you know the bonding and all that happened with the dragons he was like no you need to toughen up like if you act like a weakling you'll forever stay like a weakling um and he even calls out dane about it and dane continues to be such a little bitch uh, <laughs> so he's annoying uh but obviously now we know what we know and she's changed a lot she's not gonna take his shit anymore hopefully it doesn't look like it. I mean, Eve, I've already read her, you know, admit to herself, like, I belong here. Like, you know, maybe not admit it to herself, but she's got a freaking dragon now. So hopefully she starts believing it. The dragon believes it. So hopefully it'll rub off. I am super excited to find out what her, like, power, I forgot what they call it. Sigil? I don't know. I think it's Sigil. I can't remember. I'm not going to look for it. Um, but I am very excited to see what her individual power that she gets because of her bonding is going to be. Especially because she... Ooh, I almost spoiled it. Um, especially considering her circumstance. Um, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm going to continue reading. I'll see you later we're back and we are at the end of this reading vlog which is unfortunate because i freaking loved one of these books but uh divine rivals i've said what i've said about it i didn't really enjoy it however i do think it's a beautiful book with a beautiful so burned romance um and yeah a heavy book but just not for me but like i said if you like all those things that i talked about before then you will love this just like everybody else uh it just wasn't for me i you know i don't like it that much but fourth wing i love this five out of five stars i loved everything about this um oh my goodness i'm like i'm playing it back in my head i don't know where we last left off about this and i don't want to talk about it too much because I'm sure this video is already long, but what can I say? I loved it. There was so much action. Like after we talked, which I don't know what we last said, so much happened. Like they traveled, they went places, like they left the college, they came back, they left again. Um, the relationships in this book, I loved. Like I loved her friendships. I loved, you know, the intimacies, like everything. Uh, and that's something that I didn't have with Divine Rivals and I don't know why because it there's beautiful beautiful like found family and like the romance it's gorgeous like it's beautiful and by all accounts I should love it and just like everybody else but I didn't not that I didn't but like if in the next book any of those people die then they died like I I know it sounds bad but like I won't feel much because I didn't connect really with that book and i have to base it just that i wasn't really enjoying it because read the book and you'll see that all her relationships are beautiful like they all are i have no excuse <laughs> it just wasn't for me however in this one i loved all the friendships even like her enemies like i loved rihanna and i loved sawyer i loved even imogen i loved liam like i actually care about these people like if in the next book something happens to any of them which if you've read the book then you already know but we'll see we'll see what happens um anyway uh there was like very little that i was like Ugh. like her thirst for zayden was uh, a little <laughs> 
like secondhand embarrassment -y, but I get it um so yeah and then like when she kills her first person I mean she didn't like go out and murder them right but or did she I'm not sure um but she reacts in a way that I got a little annoyed because she kept like repeating it but that's just that was a me thing because she reacted normally like everybody would be freaking out if they killed someone and they were like a pacifist but yeah i uh i loved it i loved so much i loved her friendships her relationships her relationship with taryn i love taryn their banter but also how he was like such a dad <laughs> and then uh you know he never he always treated her the way zayden treated her not the way dane did like he knew she was strong and he made sure to tell her you know what i mean i love that i love that from the beginning there are dragons all the way to the end like there's dragons throughout the whole book and for a book about dragons they delivered it was fast paced it was action packed from beginning to end i loved it loved it definitely read it and you better believe that come release date in november i'm gonna be at barnes and noble to get iron flame oh, i can't believe i have to wait till november but november is my birthday month so it's gonna be a good month but yeah thank you so much for joining me today as we oh <laughs> as we read these two books again both good books definitely more romance leaning and then definitely fantasy and romance this was like both um so yeah definitely give these a try let me know down below if you've already read them what did you think i want to know i really do about both of them because just because this wasn't for me doesn't mean it wasn't good and i want to know if you loved it and then same for this like if you hated it still tell me i want to know so like i said thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want to stick around and i'll see you very soon with another one bye Thank you.